Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today we have something a little bit different for you and I'm gonna be sharing in the lead up to Christmas some of my favorite British recipes I make for our Christmas Eve Eve party so you can really feel like you're there when you see all the prep going on in a couple of weeks. And one of the favorite things I always make are sausage rolls. Now they are not what an American would call a sausage roll. We had this discussion in the office this morning. So I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect British sausage roll. And they are super simple too, which is awesome because you can make tons for parties and they taste great. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna want is some savory sausage. So I like this uh, Bob Evans one. You can use um, any really of the breakfast kind of sausage meats that come like this. The sage and onion one works really nicely too. So whatever your favorite flavor is, or you could use a meat substitute too depending on your preference. And these are not my craft tools before anybody asks. These are special ones we have just in the kitchen, but I love them so much that I have them everywhere in the house. So I'm just cutting this open and then you want to open this up like this, you see. And my top tip for emptying these out is to start pinching here at this base. And then as you turn, you can see your sausage is gonna come out and it comes out super simple. I'm gonna put that straight into my kitchen aid. You can mix this by hand too. It's just the kitchen aid's gonna make this much, much easier for us. Okay, next thing, we're gonna need some onion, some breadcrumbs, and some powdered mustard. Now, Coleman's mustard is our family favorite. It's a British tradition, um, and this always gives me the best flavor. So if you can find Coleman's, it might be in with the spices, or it might be in like the foods from the rest of the world. So we often find it in the British section, um, but you can go and find your Coleman's mustard. So um, for the mustard, I'm gonna use around about half a teaspoon of mustard. Now, I tend not to cook by measurement, so, um, I'm trying to work these out slightly, but around about a quarter of a teaspoon. And you'll get a feeling for whether next time you want a bit more pepperishness in it or whether you want a little bit less. We're also gonna add some extra breadcrumbs to give it some texture. And I like to add, this is the half a cup. So I kind of start um, halfway, which I think is the quarter cup inside of here. That's, yep, the quarter cup. So that's roughly what we're going to put in per one tube of sausage. And I like using the larger ones and just leveling them off. I find that that's much easier. And these are just regular plain breadcrumbs, nothing special about those. And then we're also gonna add some extra onion just because it gives it a really nice flavor and texture. So here I've diced a whole onion. You don't kind of need that much. Um, we have the, the frozen, so I'm gonna do mm, just under half a cup, roughly. Again, I always cook by eye, so it's hard for me when I'm doing recipes because people will say to me, so how much of this do you put in? I'm like, well, just a pinch of this and a throw of that. Maybe you cook the same way. Now I'm gonna wind my kitchen aid up and I have my like dough, um, the, the beater in here rather than like the whipping piece. And we're gonna turn this on. So let's make sure we're plugged in, which we are. And I'm gonna turn this on to about number four. And we're just gonna let that mix for a second. You want it to be mixed nice and thoroughly. And so you can mix by hand if you don't have a KitchenAid. This just makes it much, much easier. And I'll turn that up a little bit. Now if you find your mixture's a little bit dry, you can add a little bit of milk or water to just kind of help bind it together. I have some milk here that I'm just gonna add in because you still want it to be that nice, sticky sausage texture. And you can see I'm just pouring a little bit in and then just looking how it kind of binds together. Now everything has bound together really nicely. I'll show you what it looks like so you know the um, texture that you are aiming for. Let's take off our beater here. So you can see this is the kind of texture that you're going for. It's that sticky sausage texture. So everything's bound together nicely. And we're just gonna leave it in our bowl while we prep our pastry. But really that's the hardest part is doing that. So you've done the, the worst bit. Okay, so now we're gonna grab some puff pastry. Now you could make this by hand, but puff pastry is a real pain to make. So the pre-made pastries you get in the grocery store are perfect. That is what I use every single year. 
you can keep them in the freezer till you're ready to use them. And if they get a little bit too sticky, if they've defrosted too much, I put them in the fridge the night before. If you need to pop them back in the freezer for five minutes and then use it and you'll find that it's this nice consistency. So it should be fairly loose, but not sticky because what we're gonna to want to do in a minute is fold it in this direction. Okay, now if I want to make mini sausage rolls, I can kind of get two out of this, but for this one, I'm just gonna do um, one fold in the middle. So all you have to do once you've unrolled your pastry is take some sausage and you're going to position it maybe a couple of inches down. So you see I've got a couple of inches up here. We wanna make sure it goes all the way out to the end. So one tube of pastry, um, one tube of sausage rather, does round about one pack of pastry. And I like to pack mine full of meat too. I'm, I'm not stingy on the meat side. So I'm gonna use round about half of my mixture here to do one. And we'll move this to the side. And we'll get our other one out. So again, just unfold. If it cracks too much, paint a little bit of milk along here and it'll stop the cracking. And I'm just gonna kind of again, make myself a sausage like this. And if you've got any meat left over, you can just cook it like sausage, just bake it in the oven um, in like a meatloaf tray or a loaf pan, something like that. I'm gonna try and use as much of mine up as I can. We'll add some in here. So the team get to try out British sausage rolls today. And that's really it. So the next thing we're gonna take is we're gonna bring our milk back here with a pastry brush. And you want to brush milk along here, just like this. And that's going to seal your pastry together. So we're gonna do the same on this one. And I'm quite generous because I want a nice seal. And this is what's gonna make your pastry sticky. So we'll fold these over just like this. So you can see that roll shape coming together. And we're gonna take some of that excess off anyway. We just wanna make sure we have that. And you can see how I'm just popping my hands in here to make sure I have a really nice crease like that. And then the next thing you want to do is take a fork and up to that crease, take your fork and press it in. And then you see how I've got one prong of my fork left? I take that and that last prong goes back in and that gives me that really nice serrated edge, which is gonna give you a really nice finish to your sausage roll. So super, super easy all the way along. And that also makes sure everything seals together nicely. Same on this one. Try not to knock your milk over. So if you find your first, you can then just start pressing. Again, all the way along. And then we're just gonna neaten up this edge. So I have a knife here, just a regular kind of kitchen knife. You do want a little bit of pastry because it tastes really nice. And this is not a sweet pastry. It can be sweet or savory depending on what you add to it. So um, you don't have to worry about that. And again, I'm gonna do the same on this side. Now to make them bake nice and evenly, nice and quickly, we're gonna cut them up into bite-sized portions. So around about an inch to an inch and a half for each sausage roll, you can see like this. And then we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna put some air holes in the top. That just gives you some nice steam holes. And I already have a pan here ready to go. And I'm gonna pre-spray this with some pan because I don't want them to stick. I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. So let's cut these off. I only have a mini oven down here, but I'm gonna pop the rest in my oven upstairs. But we'll have a few down here for you to see. And then we're gonna cook them for around about half an hour to 45 minutes. Some ovens, I have a convection oven upstairs, it will do it in around about 25 minutes. Um, so you, you'll know your oven. So convection ovens are gonna cook um, much quicker than just a regular oven. And before we put it in, we're also gonna just brush it with milk. You could do an egg mixture too, um, but that's just more added complication. Milk will still give you that nice glossy finish to it too. So we're just gonna brush our milk on. 
And now we're gonna pop them in the oven to cook. So as I say, 25 minutes to half an hour for a convection oven, half an hour to 45 minutes for a regular oven. And then I'm gonna come back, show you my favorite sauces to dip it in, and we're gonna get the team to try them out. So let's go. So after about 25, 30 minutes, your timer will go off too and we can grab them out the oven. So be warned, they're gonna be super hot when they first come out, but they're gonna look something like this. So you can see how much they puff up. Those little air holes will start to have closed up and you'll have some really nice crispy ends on them. But I'm gonna grab one off of here and I'm gonna move these to the side. Um, and we're gonna try one out. So my favorite way to eat a sausage roll is with ketchup. And you can pep up your ketchup with all sorts of different things, including some of that mustard powder. I have a great recipe for pepped up ketchup, which we'll save for another time, but you can try that out. Or some of the Coleman's mustard that comes pre-done, like a liquid mustard. This is Greg's absolute favorite. So you can do either, whatever your favorite is. Try out both, maybe try a little bit of each. So I'm gonna cut off some of my sausage roll here. I love the pastry part too. So I have a little bit of sausage and of course that pastry, dip it in your ketchup. Mm, super hot, but so, so good. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our first British recipe. You want to be hit that subscribe button, subscribe to our new recipe playlist as well. Go check out the blog post for all the ingredients. There'll be a recipe there that you can download and you can pin to your Pinterest boards as well. So go check all those things out and I'll see you again tomorrow for something really, really fun. I can't wait to show you with you. So happy crafting, happy baking and cooking and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.